Hello, my name is Klaus and welcome to another master video. This time it will be something that's annoying me for a little bit of a time. That's brake squeal. My brakes are squealing at the back and they're annoying. So I'm gonna try out two new things in this video. Firstly to fix the squeal that's on that side in the back and I'm gonna try a new grease. This is what you usually use. This, this is copper grease, multi-purpose. It's meant for brake discs to, to get the squeals off or away. Not anymore, because it doesn't work. Now I'm gonna try ceramic brake grease. Yeah, brake. I, I thought it said brake disc. Brake grease. I'm gonna try this out. And I bought the wind-in tool for, for the brake piston that you cannot push back in, but you have to wind it back in. I bought that one and the first time I'll ever use it. Now, let's try this, how the ceramic brake grease works on the pads, pins and everything else. I'm gonna use that in this video. Tell me in the comments below which one you prefer, the copper one or the ceramic one, or you use something else. Who knows, this is my first time trying it, so I'm gonna try it. Let's go and I'll show you the tools I'm gonna use. And now the tools you're gonna need is 14 millimeter, 14 millimeter socket, 14 millimeter wrench. Now, as you'll be taking off the wheel, jack, jack stands, garage creeper. Let's start. Obviously, gloves because you'll be working on, on brakes, torque wrench. This caliper tool set, this is what pushes in back the piston at the rear you don't have a piston that you can push like that normally you have to wind it back in this is a set to do exactly that now i'll have a light obviously wd-40 especially penetrant lock threads this is very high temperature paint metallic black ceramic brake grease copper indices and some acetone this I will use an impact with 21, 17, and this is the lock nut. So this is a pneumatic or pneumatic uh, angle grinder. I'll, I'll plug the holes and clean everything off. Metal brush, more brushes, more brushes uh, attaches to the grill. And this is where I will paint on. I'll put this in the vise, paint, do my stuff, and do everything else. Some gloves, obviously, some blue paper, and some water for me. Because the more you talk, the thirstier you get. We will do this wheel today. As you can see how it looks now. See how it looks now. How it's brown, rusty, and it's making squealing noises. And this is how it should look like after, you're, after we are done. It's 21 mil and 17 on the lock nut. So right now you can see, this is the situation how it looks like. The disc isn't too bad, but it's all, as you can see, it's all rusty, it's all just yucky looking. Yeah, that's, that's bad, that's pretty bad. Now here's a 14, here's a 14, and deeper in, should be a 14 here and a 14 here so all the caliper would come off so we're gonna spray this caliper this this will be on the car once we spray this we will work at this will spray on, on the vice bench on the in in the vice so penetrant here here Have to use force to twist it.
Now here comes the problem. This shouldn't be in my hand. And the brake pad doesn't want to come out. Oh, no wonder why it's scratching. All of these are off. These brake pads are stuck on it. Look at that, that's why it is squealing all the time because it's stuck. Holy. Now we found the reason why it squeals. Why it squeaks and why it squeals, you can see this is thicker than, than this. It's not moving. There needs to be grease inside. Here is nothing. This hasn't been serviced in years. Obviously, don't do this to your brake pads, but... I'm slightly tapping the brake pads, not using any force. This is full of brake dust. Look. at all the rustiness these clips should be coming out these clips should be popping off but they aren't so everything is stuck everything is stuck obviously all of you are saying don't use this again this you need to replace with new parts sorry I cannot afford new parts so we have to rebuild what we have I'll clean, I'll clean all this up, spray it with paint to make it look a little bit nicer. We're gonna put, clean all this up, assemble it and go on. Now let's go to cleaning. I'm wearing an industrial mask, which protects me from all the dust.
I'm using industrial at the dome and washing off all the rust and dust. Cleaning out the threads from the old grease, rust and all the debris. Usually these plates are riveted or glued on, as I don't have the glue that would do that job. I'll bend the tabs so they put extra force on the sides.
back in, open the break reservoir cap to let the excess pressure out. Easier. But I understood it after I finished the job and finished recording that that plate is used to press against the other side. <laughs> you learn something new every day. Be shown to spray in the holes. Those two are bolt holes and other ones where the pins sit. You do not want any paint there. With the blade I'm scratching off the paint where, where it shouldn't be. I could have masked it, but that would take much longer than doing this. I'll put some threadlock on the bracket bolts. making sure that the highest edge is sticking on the highest point of the bracket. Now then, let's put the pads back in and put this back on. Now, you can see I did a little bit of a grease on these. Usually the pin goes to the back, but this time it's other way around. That's weird, but whatever, let's install them. As simple as uh, align this to this and the bottom to bottom and push it in. Just push till the end. Let's do it at the back and see if, if they slide properly. When editing this, I notice that I'm missing hardware. I'm missing two pins that push out the pads. Come on, get in. There you go. That's more like it. They're moving. As you can see, back then it was stuck. Okay, let's install the 
Caliper. Dust boots. Always the pin with the rubber goes to the top. Can find it. Okay, let's put the bottom pin in. Maybe the bottom pin will be a bit more success successful. Hey, it's in. We're in. Now this is messy. Now the top one. Go in, my. Go in. If it's not straight, it won't go in. And I need two hands. I need to lift this and check how it goes. Then slowly spin it in. Right here. Have to pe peel this back to check if the rubber is go gone through. Because sometimes the rubber is a little bit tricky and it likes to stick there. So you, so you need to spin this, spin it and push it in slowly and see if the rubber doesn't make a leap over. But once it's in, it will go nicely and smoothly. So see, now we can tighten the bolts and check if we can freely spin. This freely spins. Now it's looking beautiful, and now it's the test right now. This isn't clamped down, you can see. And uh, we can freely spin this. It spins. Let's go step on the brake, pull the handbrake and see how it feels then. Okay, it's down, remember. All right, then let's try it. How it spins now. Ooh, much better, wow. That is much better, it still rubs a bit. But, so this did quite a lot of improvements. So I'll put the wheel back and we go for a ride and listen out for any squeals. This is what happens if you don't pull up your handbrake and try to torque your lug nuts. And that's it. And that's how you do a brake caliper paint, brake bracket and caliper paint and rebuild. <laughs> rebuild. <laughs> I should replace all those parts i should sadly it's not in the budget hope this video was entertaining or at least somehow informative i'll see you in the next one bye bye